in the forest looking at what I think might possibly be a, another bear trail. There's some sign coming through here in the leaves. And then it comes up here. And you notice that these ferns have been knocked over in the direction of travel. And you can see the disturbance in the leaves. All the way up to between those trees up there, there's some sort of depression that looks like it's been scooped out of the leaves. So I'm going to head up there and see what that is. Okay, here's what I found where that little depression was. And you notice that it appears to have been scooped out of the forest debris. The leaves have all been scooped away down to the soil. And this looks like a bear's bed. And you notice over here the bear has been feeding in here. Notice the chunks knocked off the log. Those have been disturbed. And the log on the far side of this one has a chunk taken out of it too. So I'm going to head that way now and look for more signs that the bear has been in here feeding. But this looks like a little bear bed. Okay, I haven't disturbed this bear bed yet, but I wanted to point something out. You notice on the edges that you can see the soil that was flung out of the center. See down here the soil that's on top of the leaves. You can see the activity that caused it, or that, excuse me, made this. That ruler six inches to give you an idea of size. So it's pretty big to be a deer bed. And with the bear sign next to this here, and given the tracks that I followed up here to this that led directly to it, I would say this is a bear's bed. So let's go check out the log. Here's something interesting, just down the hill from the first bear bed, there's a second one. Up here is the first one that we just looked at. And here's the second one. Slightly smaller. And again, here are the tracks leading up to it. Coming up through the brush here. And you notice this disturbance in the leaves, the heavy disturbance. If you feel those tracks, you can actually feel the depression beneath the leaves that was left by the bear's foot. So either there are two bears or one bear spent two nights here and made two separate little bear beds. Maybe you found good food here and decided to spend a couple of nights. Let's go investigate the logs. Here's something interesting in the forest debris here. You can put your, fi your fingers in there and sort of feel gently. You can feel the edges of the track. And if I pull this leaves out, oops, the mushroom, you'll notice that here's the heel mark of the bear. It was going this direction, and here's its heel. So if you're very careful, you can pick the leaves out of the track sometimes and find the little depression of the foot underneath all this forest debris that was hiding it. Okay, we've arrived at the log. This was pretty visible from way back because of the color difference between the log that has not been touched by the bear and where bark and, and pieces of wood have been scratched off by the bear. This area is full of poison oak, and I'm not going to go in there. <laughs> but this is what the log looked like that the bear was feeding on. And if you look back over here at the base of this tree, or excuse me, that tree, there's his bed. So not too far away. And the river is down there through the forest. So I'm assuming that the downhill trail that I found was when the bear went down the hill to get some water. Food, resting spots, and access to water. What else does a bear need? Happy trails! Here's the first bear trail that I found. I was actually down there on the trail and notice that it came up here, but if you look through the leaves, there's disturbance pretty clearly all the way down, and it goes through there and under that log, crosses the trail and goes into the forest on the other side. Now up here on the hill I found there's a second trail, it goes past this log, and you can see the clear disturbance in the leaves going down this hill. Both directions lead you to the river eventually. 
So that's probably where the bear was headed because I didn't find any other logs down there that it had torn into. I'll pick this up on the other side of the trail down there. Here we are still on the trail of the bear. Now I'm down on the trail and you can see the disturbance in the leaves and debris going under this log and then up that hill there and on the last video I was standing right up there next to that log from which the other trail branched off. So the bear came down here crossed this trail and went towards the river which you can see in the distance out here. So the trail of disturbed leaf debris goes all the way through here and then into the berry plants and into the poison oak. Bears aren't affected by poison oak, but I am. So I'm not going to go that way. Anyway, this has been a fun little short bear track. Bears are pretty interesting creatures and they're able to find food in places that are just absolutely amazing to humans. Happy tracking!